Djokovic defeats Felix Auger Elysium 7 5, 7 6, two punches ticket into the semifinals of the Masters in Rome. Shout out to Djokovic. With this, he guarantees that he's going to be the number one seed at Roland Garros, which is big because, you know, everyone always wants to be the number one seed. He's going to stay as the number one player. If he would have lost, Medvedev would have moved into that number one ranking in the ATP tour. But Djokovic takes care of business, defeating FAA in straight sets. Shout out to Djokovic. It looks like he's damn near at the top of his game again. And it, it was expected for him to take, you know, a little bit to get back into rhythm, get back into into shape, get back into, you know, the level that we've seen him end last year with, you know, him not being able to play the Australian Open, not being able to get into the U.S. for the U.S. swing with the Miami Open and and uh, Indian Wells. And we've seen Djokovic, you know, lose to some players that he normally wouldn't lose to. We saw him lose the final of the Serbian Open to Rublev. And you were you, every time you see him play, you were like, okay, that this is not the Djokovic that we're accustomed to. He's obviously still getting back into form. He's obviously still trying to find his rhythm. Like, this ain't it. Like, eventually he'll come. Right now in Rome, in the Italian Open, in the Italian uh, Open, he looks like, you know, he's finding his level. Like, Felix should have his head held high because he definitely played good game. There wasn't too many, like, mistakes that he had. He had an all-around solid game. And Djokovic was there for the occasion. Um, even when he was up 5-2 and he allowed FAA to come back and make it a 5-5 set in the second set, it, it looked like he he focused again, made it 6-5, 6-6, and then in the tie break, he just, he just showed his experience, he showed his class, and beat Felix pretty convincingly in the tie break 7-1. But it was it was just a great match of tennis. Like like I said, FAA, he had a great start to the 2022 season, and then he had a considerable dip. Where I was like, oh man, I just I just said you're gonna have to do great things in 2022, and now it looks like you're regressing, and it looks like your season's going you know is going to shit kind of. But it looks like FAA has found his level again, and he really showed it today. Like he he was serving. Really, really good. His forehand looked nice. His backhand looked solid. Djokovic kept kept pressuring him, pressuring him with his forehand, and for the most part, it responded. But Djokovic, like I said, he's playing at a high level. He's it looks like he's back to that number one, and I do have him winning the winning Rome. It looks like he should. Um, he does play uh, Rude next, and Rude is a clay specialist, and he's had a very solid season so far too. So it's going to be a very entertaining semifinals. And on the other side, it's Sasha Zverev versus TC Paz. Or, and they've played, you know, numerous times. Sasha Zverev just uh, beat him in the semifinals of Madrid. So we'll see how that goes. But I think Djokovic should be the overwhelming favorite to beat Rude and then beat either Sasha or TC Paz. And it's just good to see Djokovic getting to those levels. You know, he lost to... To some players that you normally wouldn't see him lose to. And even the loss to Rublev. Like, Rublev is a great player, but I don't think, especially in his home country of Serbia, I don't think a lot of people had Rublev beating Djokovic. But Djokovic was barely warming up, was barely getting back into rhythm. So it's understandable why he lost to Rublev. But I think now he's really getting back into form. And we're seeing the best Djokovic. And it's good for him because Roland Garros is a week away. And he's a defending champion, and Alcaraz is going to be there. We'll see what version of Nadal is going to be there. But definitely, it looks like Djokovic is getting back into that number one number one ranking form that we've been accustomed to. So shout out Djokovic. Shout out Felix, too. I think he had a great Rome, great tournament at the Italian Open. And he should have his held, his hand held high. Um, losing to Djokovic is... It's not a bad thing at all. It's like, it's Djokovic. It is what it is. You played a great match. You showed your heart. I was hoping for a third set, but it is what it is.